everybody. All right. Today, I, yesterday I worked on sewing all the pockets into this Daphne Dyes Diary journal, inspired journal for my friend Sandy M. And um, I am ready to do the hole punching. And... I just realized that I had this all set and it looks like I need to bring that cover down a little bit. There we go. That outside cover wasn't exactly where I wanted it. I'll make sure that was set in the right spot. Okay, so time to do this part and I'm gonna mark my cover so <clears throat> I want to mark the holes where I'm gonna punch my little all through right there that was about messy messy and then we're gonna do the same thing right here so with this we do a like that and we'll just make sure it's sticking out the same amount of space so let's see it looks about right so I'm just going to so much easier when you're only doing one instead of like four. <laughs> One is a million times easier. That's all I can say. All right. So super easy. Get my trusty little um, catalog for punching the hole. My thicker all. And put this right in the crease of the catalog like this. And I'm going to hold my book up a little bit like that. And I'm just going to I have a lot to get through, so I have to just really push through. There we go. And we're going to do the same here. Make sure we're getting through all the layers. I think I'm going to have to um, strengthen that. I wasn't thinking about that, but... I think I better, I think I better strengthen this with something because I don't think it's strong enough on its own. Um, I think this is probably the right size. We just cut a tiny bit off the top and we're gonna glue that on right here um, to give this some strength because I don't believe that it's the strength it needs to be. I wonder if I tip my book upside down, I could do it like this. All right, so I'm just going to take my glue and I'm actually just going to glue um, this side because there's no use poking my all through wet glue, right? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking anyway. All right. So let me just kind of put that like this. Yeah, and it's not gonna hurt anything. Um, it'll be fine. It'll look fine. Let's just go like this so we can make sure we're, um, we're even. And I think this will help because otherwise um, I'm afraid that um, it will rip the um, 
it'll rip this wax paper because this wax paper is on the outside. So I think um, for the protection of it, because I certainly don't want it ripping on me, I think this is going to be the best route. So let's just get through that. Still got a tiny bit of glue on there, I feel like. Okay. So there. So now we went through that, which is what I needed to do. Okay, good. Good. Perfect. And we'll just get through this one. So, middle, puncture. Oh, this one's so much easier because this is super thin. So we just go through all of those and that is done. All right, we can put this away. Yeah, so I did a bunch of sewing on this last night because um, I hope to get this done so I can mail it on Monday, or not Monday, Tuesday, because Monday's a holiday. Anyway, that's my plan. We shall see what happens. Remember, three times is usually all you need for your floss, and uh, or you, whatever you're doing it with. I always do mine with floss, and I chose a pretty red this time. And just a thick tapestry needle, or tapestry needle, and we'll do that. And here, um, yeah, because we're camping, so we're going to be gone tomorrow, or not tomorrow, Friday. Friday morning, we have Friday off, so Friday morning. And we would usually camp all the way through Monday and come home on Monday, but Sunday night and all day Monday, it's going to rain. And we have no place to put our trailer to dry out, our tent trailer to dry out if it rains. So uh, we decided, and then what are we going to do? Sit in the trailer, in the camper. Um, well, it's pouring and I have nothing to do. So after <laughs> after the family picnic on Sunday, we and because the rain's coming Sunday night, um, we're going to just go ahead and um, pack up and go. So we'll probably get packed up a little bit in the morning before people come because our picnic's around one. And that way, after they all leave, we can just finish packing up and head on home. Because, yeah, it's just gonna be, <laughs> gonna be that kind of a day, I guess, right? And sometimes, uh, you just gotta make the best of it. However, being home a day early, does give me the opportunity to, I want to make sure I have a good amount of string here, because I'm going to have plenty. It gives me the opportunity to get this journal hopefully finished. I'll probably work on it a little bit tonight too. I've got to make tags and um, I've got all the journaling card things done and um, envelopes and stuff, but I've got some other little decorating things and tags to do. So that's kind of what I have to be doing. All right, so I think, all right, let me just pull that out. And, okay, so before I tie, Looks good, looks good. And I just tie like three or four times to give it a good, strong tie. And that's all it needs. Then I can just take off all these clips. I'm really happy with the how the decorating came on this. All the pockets are all mostly all squirrels. Um, so that was so much fun to do. Um, I'm so happy with this cover, this piece here. And then I went and added some papers, so 
I added an eco dyed paper. I added a bunch more blank papers. Um, I added tabs. I did pockets and tuck spots um, like this. I did a couple of belly bands like that. So it did. I did add to it. I did this cute little pocket. So I'm really happy with um, the papers. And as you can see, here's that paper I put down. And probably what I'm going to do is put some washi over the top of this, just so that I know it's going to hold even better if I need to. So I have the middle. So this is where I like to go and bring in a couple of beads uh, for the color. And her colors are red and yellow. So I have these cute red and yellow beads that I'm going to use. And I just tie them on. I don't do any fancy knots at the end, um, though I certainly could. But I'd have to do quite a few knots to make this um, so that it doesn't, it doesn't fall out. I don't, and I just don't think I can do enough knots. <laughs> so I just do the same thing for everybody, and um, I think it's okay. I just want to make sure it's that's probably good. And let's let's bring the knot up here, and then I'll just do one more knot right there. And let that be right there. Okay. And we will cut it fairly close. But yeah, that's that's my method. <laughs> it is nothing fancy, believe me. I'm not all that great with the charm thing, I must say. So this one. We'll let this one dangle a little bit further than the other one. And it's smaller anyway, so that's okay. And there we go. Let's cut that one. So there we go. Let's see. Let's take a look. Cute. So red and the cute charms. And then what I'm going to be putting in here when I'm done is um, some red, a red um, tie, if I have enough of this. I do. This is enough. So this is going to be um, the tie for this. So let me, maybe what I should do is get that ready because you've seen how... Um, I attach these a certain way. I also need to remember to get my chickadee journal stamp in here. Okay, so I'm just going to take this, and I'm glad I had enough um, for another one. Huh, got some washi on there. All right, so... Let's do this one. This is all I do. It's super simple. Um, I just put it through here. And on these, I don't knot it because I don't want that extra bulk. I do knot it. Um, oops, that's way too much. I do knot it for um, the book ones I do just because they, that just looks better with them. But with these, I don't need to do that. And this actually works well just because I've already, um, done the laminating. So this actually works just fine. So there's a number one and Let's do number two. 
right here so the lace covers up the hole all right and we're just going to put here's my lace piece or my piece and just gonna lay that down right there okay just make that really nice and the way it needs to be and then we have a tuck spot here it looks like this came up a little bit um so if i remember i have gotta sew that up a little so there we go there's the ties um so that brings in enough of the red because I didn't have a whole lot of red stuff, you know, to be able to put in here. So I do have to make a decoration for, so there'll be some other little things I'm gonna add in here. But I wanted to work on the tags, um, I have a little time. So, I was thinking with the tags, I would find some Daphne's Diary stuff and I would put it on here and back it on some paper, but I want to make the top and then I would back it on like coffee or tea stain paper on the back. But I want to see if I can find some things in here that would make um, cute tags. So I was just going to kind of look um, and see if anything appealed and I want it to have red. Because I have plenty of yellow included, but I just don't have um, enough red stuff, and that's what I'm looking for. So, here's something I'm gonna take. All right, here's one, and I'm going to cut this part of it as well and this whole thing won't be a tag but part of it will be a tag so I'm guessing if my tag comes about here that's probably good so this just a leftover piece and then what I'll do is I'll put it here so that the music um, can form around it and then I'll cut around that so there's a little bit of a music border. So that's kind of my thoughts. So let's keep looking because I, I want to do, I like to do three or four tags. So see how pretty this is too. That's a really pretty. There's some really cute things in here. But let's keep going. And see what I can come up with. Thought I would kind of look, um, even though that would work just fine. I'm gonna keep looking. I can always come back. Man, that's beautiful. Wow. Wouldn't that make a beautiful tag? I think I'm just gonna have to take that, even though it's not pure red. Definitely beautiful, beautiful for a tag. Let's trim off this from tearing the magazine out. And something like this can become two, two beautiful tags just because the colors are stunning. Okay, so there. All right. This is kind of cool. I keep saying I'm looking for red, but then I find I find some things that I th think would make some really cool looking tags. So like this, I mean, this is amazing. 
would be such a pretty tag. Just like that. All right. And let's keep let's keep at it. See what we can find. These are covers, so I'm just gonna flip by some of those little projecty things that are in here. There's a lot of project pieces and cards and such, so kind of wanna probably put those at the bottom instead of the top. And yeah. I think that would be better. All right, let's keep looking here. Because I'd like to find, I got one, four, I'm gonna look for one more. Um, there's some more project, these are project things. I'm gonna try and move all those to the same spot. Christmassy, Christmassy. I'm looking for red. <laughs> uh, it has to be the right configuration, too. So I'm just going to keep, keep looking, flipping through. Um, this was for that game. I need to put this with that game piece. I don't want to lose that. These, this is a game. And these two pieces go together for the game. So, let's make sure we have that in the same spot. Um, you know, that would make a tag. I think this. Because look at how nice and thick. And then against music, that would be so fantastic. So we're going to, let's just do it more or less. We're going to do it half. Okay, so that gives us something to work with. Um, and I don't, I think that's sufficient. I don't think I need to look for anything more. All right. So then what I'm going to do, because I will be sewing. So, um, the first thing I want to do is get this part figured out. So I think... I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and go to the edge with this, this one, just leave a little edge with that one, and this one too, I'm not as worried, it's just, it just needs a little edging, so let's put that one there. Um, we have this one, I really like this, so let's put this one, we want a little more music on that. Let's put that one there. Love this. I'm going to put this one at the end. And then I had these cute little things. And we're going to put one here. So they won't necessarily have a lot of music showing, but they'll have some. And we'll put this one here. And then um, I'm going to lift this one up and move it a little. Okay. Okay, so there's our pieces. Um, and I think at the same time, let me go grab a piece of paper to back. This with for the tags. So hang on a second. We'll do that. Um, looks like I should probably grab something tall. Um, let's see if this is sufficient for the back. Yeah, that works. 
So all I'm going to do because then I'm just going to sew around all these because that's what I like to do with the tags. Okay, so here's all the backs. Here's all the tags. Um, and then I'm just going to cut them the sizes I want. So we probably should just start one at a time. And this one I'm going to uh, move over like this. This one I'm going to go more like that. It's pretty random <laughs> how I do it. Um, I'm not too worried. Just am going to make sure I have some music, even if it's a little bit showing. It doesn't have to be like a ton showing. So probably what I will do is do a... Um, A zigzag so that it catches everything because I wonder why I didn't get that. There we go. Let's make sure we're laying flat um, and I can let this one be up a little higher and then I think this one is. Oh, that one's just a little bit off center as well, not too much. And then it didn't get it all, so let's try that. Okay. It's the paper. If you have older paper, like that music paper, then sometimes you just don't get a nice, neat cut that you want. So I'm going to bring in the guillotine and make sure... There, that we have the good cut on that one. Okay, so there's one. It is so pretty. I just, I love it. So pretty. This baby is super crooked. So let's reattach. <laughs> let's reattach so that's not so crooked. And there we go. And even then, can she get it straight? No, she can't. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep. Yep. What can I say? Okay, I like this. And I'm going to put this one up here because I like that word la in here. I think it looks kind of nice. This one here and up here as well and this one looks fine this one we want that and it looks like it's nice and straight so pretty happy with this the way this is turning out it's gonna be it's gonna be good Very cute tags and then all I have to do is sew them this needs a little trimming and they should look really nice there so let's just take a look at them now that I've trimmed them all so you can see what they look like. Yeah, so it's pretty easy. Um, this is just some spare pieces. So we have this. And my paper. Oh, see. Yep. Paper is not. Now, see, I have to look at the backs to be sure my papers are correct. So I was not paying attention to that. Okay, 
because that's important too. So I have to check the backs of these. Make sure that the paper goes all the way to the back like it's supposed to. And yes. All right, so there we are. Um, so now you know what the tags are gonna look like and I will get them sewn around. And then I'll have this and the tags will be ready. And then really all I have to do is um, a few more little de decorative stuff because I do like to do a fabric collage or a lace collage. And um, I usually sew around playing cards as well. And I did, because I got some new playing cards, um, I want to sew around those. And my time is about up. So maybe I'll just pick out the the sewing cards really quick. Because I did get some new ones, so I'm pretty happy about that. So I got um, two new ones. And I think I will... Two new old ones, two vintage. So this one and this one. So I think I'll make those into, and I always like to do one of these teeny tiny ones as well. So I think I'll do those for the cards and of course one of these. So those are gonna be, I'll back these with paper and we'll sew around the edges of those too. And then we will have everything that we need. Whoops. Okay, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.